Hello, it's Sam and from Cools Paranormal. Yeah, and Keegan. Um, today we want to do a short little video. I think we'll make some longer ones, but it's about uh, UFOs in Colorado. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> apparently one of the more UFO visited places in America is actually in Cooper, Colorado. Yes, this is correct. And that's actually where the UFO watchtower is. And actually we're going to try to hit up that place this, uh, this summer. It's on our on our list of list of places. Do. Yeah, it's about a three hour and thirty five minute drive, but it's a small Not little bad. town past Canyon City there and apparently there are just tons of UFOs. Yes. There's also a bunch of other hot spots throughout Colorado. There's some up in the mountains. Um, there's even reports of some seen at DIA airport or nearby DIA airport. Not exactly there, but definitely nearby for sure um and i know there's been ones kind of down in the springs um yep. colorado springs has had quite a bit and then denver has had a few at least back in the 40s and 50s and I mean, then we still have sightings today it's just it's hard to see them just because a lot of people just aren't really looking for them or don't can't see them essentially and um, I know Third Bridge is another hot spot. Over in that area on the Cairo Road there, apparently is uh, known for the UFOs and stuff like that. Um, have you ever seen a UFO in Colorado? Um, I, I've seen objects. I won't say that they were UFOs particularly, but I've definitely seen metallic objects during the daytime up in the sky that at first I was like, oh, it, it could be a satellite, but then again, um, it was in one spot for way too long. Like, normally satellites move, they move across the planet, and there would be no reason for it to just chill in one spot and be super visible during the day. Um, my cousin has seen a couple UFOs in Colorado. One was the one that happened back in, I think, 2013, 2014, <clears throat> there was a, uh, a sighting of like seven orange spherical objects that like Andrew, have you ever here. seen a UFO? I couldn't tell if it was a UFO or not. It could have been a satellite, which there are a lot of those out there. So true. So very true. But it did move back and forth, so. Okay. That is very a radical pattern. So. Yeah, satellites mm -hmm. just keep going. Straight. But it went like that. Okay. It wasn't very fast, mind you. But. Fast enough to not be a satellite. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. I feel as though, and that was an aurora. Okay. Yeah. So kind of near, yeah. Just staring at the sky. Yeah. Well, third bridge over there is one that's supposed to be UFO. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Well, it's nice seeing you guys. Peace. <clears throat> yeah. All right. As I was saying, my cousin saw one that was over, it was towards the mountains, so it wasn't where they said it was, because I'll let you know of what happened, and then I'll let you know of how they covered it up. So what happened was there was uh, seven objects that appeared, or seven orange objects, in a straight line so it started with one and then it kind of went across to seven and then a few minutes after there was an orange beam of light that went straight down to the ground from the craft and several minutes to a half an hour after that um, you saw the orange like the orange discs started to move like this and then they vanished entirely and the first cover-up was said that it was a blimp over the DI or over in Vesco Field for like a game that was going on during that day. And then they changed the story to parachuters over in Vesco Field. And then they switched it to parasailers with an orange flag over in Vesco Field. And since we're from Denver, where we were looking at, in Vesco Field was like more towards the um, north west 
than um, where the object was seen, because this object was seen more southwest than um, northwest. It was far from Invesco Fields area. Yeah. Um, which makes it very weird. No, it is really weird. Um, and people stopped. Like, my cousin watched a bunch of people stop on, on the highway and, like, get out of their cars to look at this object. So a lot of people saw it and guaranteed um, the police station got many calls about it. Just yeah. being like, hey, what is happening? Like, there's an orange beam of light. Something weird going on. There's yeah. something weird going on. And I mean, most UFO sightings, there's always lots of calls to the police department, fire department, all of them. A lot of them are wondering if we're being attacked, usually by, like, another True. country. Yeah. yeah, no, it's more of, like, a panic of being attacked, but, like, there are those very few, but people that do can see that something else is at play than an attack, just because if it wasn't an attack, it would have, stuff would have happened afterwards, but yeah, it's hard to say, but it was still a very interesting kind of event that happened I unfortunately didn't get to see it because of where I live we're kind of more up in the hills so it was kind of being blocked blocked by the mountains yeah I mean me calling on Mark we had two nights where we saw a couple of UFOs um, one flew over our house and it was more of a, uh, a boomerang shape and it had three lights uh-huh. One on the front and then two more two on the, the side. Back. Yeah. And the triangles is their call. Hey, yeah, I had no noise. It wasn't more of a triangle. It was literally, you can see the whole thing, but it looks like a boomerang. Very weird. Like an actually Australian boomerang. Normally, boomerangs have lots yeah. more lights to them. And um, the <clears> night <throat> before we saw that one, we actually noticed there was like an orb in the sky, a big red orb. And it was kind of pulsating, like it'd go like this and then get bigger and then go like this and get bigger. And it did that for a while, and you could see uh, cars, because it looked like it was right above I-25. You could see cars slowing down, like, looking. yeah, looking up at it. Yeah, cause Mark could see it in Wheat Ridge. Which is far. Yeah, so it's to see it from far. Wheat Ridge from Castle Rock, that's almost an hour and a half drive up there. And then another night, he recorded one where it was like a orb of light again, but this one didn't pulsate. It sat there, but then it would do this, like, and you could see Sporadic it. Sporadic movements. Yeah. And at first, like, on the camera, you see him just focus on it, but he backs his camera off to focus on uh, some of the night poles and stoplights and all that to show you, no, I'm not moving. This is actually what it's doing in the sky. Like, it looked like he was shaky. And besides those two, I've actually seen ones on the, almost the same day. I think it's February or March when I've seen I'd have to look at the pictures, but they're more of a triangle. And those ones have the ones, and they're, you know, Four they just points. move. But yeah, so that's at least what we've seen. Um, and there will be definitely more videos coming. We just got to have more time. Yeah, like we said with me and Alan when we did that video before, with the holidays, it's just hard for us trying to oh, yeah. do that and do this. So. But now that the holidays are over, we're going to start trying to do this at least once a week and give you guys some good videos. But uh, until next time. Until next time, have a wonderful day.